Hey guys, it's me. I am on video number two today. <laughs> um, so real quick, just real quick. This video is gonna be short, but um, I just can't. Like, as much as I try to like certain people, I just I can't. I I, I can't. And I think the reason why I can't is because they're so full of it. Uh, so full of it. And I think that's why I just can't learn to like them. And I feel like Olivia is trying to lose weight and having... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She don't like to use that term. My bad. Uh, lose weight or diet. She doesn't like to use any of those words. Um, whatever. Anyway, so she's trying to lose weight, trying to eat right, but yet still she don't cook healthy meals, number one. Number two, you only trying to be on a diet and lose weight because you think that Jared's finna come, I'm sorry, Gerard, is finna come back, okay, and... Kiss your ass, beg for you back, all this extra crap that you want him to do. Girl, if the pregnancy thing didn't scare him or bring him back to you, losing weight, boo-boo, is not going to bring him back to you either. Um, Get your shit together. Get your priorities together. Because to me, that's the most stupidest thing that you can do in the world. Okay, is try to lose weight for somebody else. You should lose weight to be there longer for your kids. Um, lose weight for yourself, for you, for you, you know, for you to be healthy, for you to look good in 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 your clothes and and feel secure. Um, not try to lose weight for anybody else, and I think that's a big problem. And if you continue to do it that way. You're not going to have a good journey. And 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 I'm not trying to be mean or negative. I'm I'm just being real. Real talk. Um 110%. And 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 I'm saying this because we've already seen that. We've already seen the live who's tried to eat healthy and go to the gym and be on a diet and do all this extra stuff for somebody else. We've already seen that. And it didn't happen it failed miserably because you were doing it all for the wrong reasons you feel me if you want to get better for you or for your kids those are right reasons but to get another man back those are wrong reasons and then to move on so quickly and have another man in your home around your kids after you've moved to a whole nother city and did a whole nother life without their father. Then their father comes back. You have sex with him. You open your legs. You get pregnant. The reaction that he had is not the reaction you wanted. So you drove all the way to damn Texas. For what? I have no idea. And then boom. That's it. The next day, the baby's terminated, and then a week after that, you dating. And then a week after that, the chick, the guy's in your house. <laughs> I can't. I, I, I can't. I can't even make this stuff up if I wanted to. Like, it, it's, it's, it's insane. Like, I can't, I, I wish I was making this up. Like, I wish I was making this up. But this shit is real. You know, it's 110% real. Focus on your kids. Focus on you. Focus on getting healthy and making a healthier lifestyle for those kids. And learning, teaching them things. You know, going to the libraries, museums, doing their ABCs with them. To me, you, you stuck on some other guy already. Like, who does that? Like, I couldn't even imagine my life without my man. But I would never, ever.
ever. Two weeks later, boom, I'm in another relationship. And then posting it on YouTube. Like, but you love him? But all this stuff was true and real in your feelings? There's no way on earth that you move on that fast, okay? After you've just broken up with someone and then got pregnant after you had sex with them. That don't make no damn sense. So I, I give it a month. I give it a month, maybe two months. I'm calling it now, guys. She finna be pregnant again. And it gonna be from another baby daddy. And let's see if he stays. Let's see if this one stays. I doubt it. I doubt it. To be honest, if if this guy that's in her, in her house is the one that she went on the date with, and, and he's already talking about some nasty stuff and she's already talking about how how big his thing his size is and all that like i don't care how long y'all been talking it just you couldn't even be talking that long because you just had sex with gerard come on you were just pregnant come on i just i can't like your life is like a god dang novella that's why people watch okay I'm going to be a hundred with you. That's why people watch. Because you entertainment, baby. And if that's the way you like your life, that's cool. Live your life that way. But it's not good for your, your kids. And it's not good for your daughter to see her mother with a whole nother man. After she just had sex with her father. And was just pregnant. Like, it, it's, it's not a good look. Like, you have a little baby girl that is going to look up for you for advice of uh, for men, for boys who break her heart. And what are you going to tell her? Oh, you know, after a month or two weeks or whatever, after you break up, you can move on. Nah, nah, you don't move on like that. It takes months, sometimes years to move on from someone that you truly, deeply love. You know what I mean? And I don't know. I I've never been cheated on. Um, I've never had that relationship where I've cried at night because of another woman. I've never had that. I've never had to suffer that. Thank you, Jesus. Um, but I'm not that chick anyway. You cheat on me one time, you could stay with her. Because obviously I wasn't good enough for you. You feel me? Obviously, I didn't make you happy. I didn't fulfill your needs. So... What you gonna come back to me for? What I'm gonna take you back for? I ain't no fool, mama. I ain't no fool. You feel me? I have never cheated on my man. He's never cheated on me. We have a beautiful family. 20 years and going. And I love it. I love my life. And um, I don't think you need a man in your life to enjoy your life. And... I think you need a you have you have a lot of growing up to do. Let's just put it that way. In 20 years, in 20 years, you're gonna understand what I'm talking about. In 20 years, you're gonna be like, damn, Crystal, you was right. Mm-hmm. Cause I am right. Anyway, guys, I enjoyed this video and I really, really, really enjoy doing this. Like, I, I really do. But anyway, bye YouTube. Love you.